What's up guys, in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the MacShine M8S V2 DA. Let's go. I am on a lunch break doing my details and I wanted to make a video on the brand new MacShine M8S V2. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the MacShine M8S V2 and why it's the best DA that you can get for your boat detailing business or if you're a boat owner. Let's go. If you get any value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. So every time I make a video, it will pop up. And we do have a discount code for the M8 SV2. So if you do wanna purchase this machine after you watch this video, MacshineUSA.com, you can go get this machine. And I believe you get about 10 to 15% off with our discount code and it will be in the description section down below. So I have been using the MacShine M8 SV2, specifically this model for the last uh, probably two or three months. They actually sent me this model before it was even out in production and I've put some hours behind it and I have some thoughts uh, about things that I really love about it and I'm gonna address that in this video. So most of you guys know that I have been using the MacShine M8S for quite a while now. It's probably been about a year since I left Griot's garage and went with the new Mac Shines. Now, in the last few months though, Mac Shine actually switched to the Mac Shine M8S V2, and that is what I have right here in front of me. These guys did send it out to me before it was really in production, and they allowed me to test it, which I was super grateful for and honored that they even picked me to kind of try the machine out and be some of the first people to really give their review on the internet. So that is what I'm doing today. All right, so here it is, the brand new MacShine M8S V2. As you can tell, it's well used. I am doing the arches up here on this top side of the boat, and I'm actually using this machine instead of my force rotation. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I can still get great polishing results out of this machine without having all the extra power and weight of the force rotation when I'm being bent over. Or if you're like, doing this bar and stuff like we've already polished out all these countertops and coated them but when i was polishing the i actually polished this bar with this machine as well so i did a lot of polishing with this machine just to make sure that it would work with polishing and it absolutely had no problems this machine is only about 130 bucks depending on where you found it and if you use our discount code it'll be even a little cheaper compared to a rupes milli or or a flex 34 one now you're talking 400 bucks now i love the force rotations i will never leave the force rotations completely but this is a phenomenal machine if you're a boat owner like a diy person or a detailing professional that wants to wax boats on a fly polish without breaking the bank and spending a ton of money. So if you want the best machine, best bang for your buck for polishing, waxing, and sanding, this machine is the one you're gonna wanna get. This is the older version. So we have the M8S V2 and then we have the M8S. If you own the older version and you bought the older version, keep it. It's still an absolutely amazing machine. This machine is just obviously updated. Now let's go over the difference between the two. The biggest difference is the color. The older version came in blue and gray. The new version is coming in red. You can see this hand grip is just way nicer to just to put your hand around versus this. You couldn't really put your hand. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't great. Now when I they came out with the new version, I absolutely love this new hand grip and the way that I can hold this with one hand. Another thing that they did was they upped the power. So on this machine, you can see the power specs right here. We got 900 watts. On this bad boy, we have 1000 watts. So we went from a 900 watt to a thousand watt. I do notice a little bit more power increase with the V8S, but the older version had plenty power as well. So honestly, they're about neck and neck, but the new version does have more power. Having that 100 extra wattage power does make a little bit of a difference. So that is definitely an advantage and a plus to the brand new M8S V2. Other than the basic look of the two and the extra power, the machine is practically identical. It does everything the older version did, so I'm super happy with it. I was really nervous because the Griot's Garage G9 was the machine that I used to rep, but when they switched from the older version to the G9, it just it didn't it didn't have the power and your machine would stall out because these DAs have clutches in them. So when you run them and you push really hard, it'll actually stop spinning. 
Now, that is a good thing and a bad thing. It could be a good safety mechanism if you need that, but it's a bad thing when you're trying to sand and wax and polish because if it's always stalling out, you're not actually cutting. Where this machine, when you pair it with the right pad, I've been running the Lake Country CCS pads on these and they've been absolutely flawless. Perfect pad for the perfect machine to give you really good results at a really good price. I have a ton of you reach out to me all the time and you go, Drake, if I can only buy one machine, which machine would you get? And I've kind of made a video addressing that one a few videos back, basically saying that you need a rotary and a DA. I still hold true to that. In that video, I was talking about the older version. Now, being that machine is technically kind of on its way out and everything is going to the brand new version, I would say that that video is still 100% accurate. If you're gonna buy any detailing machines, if you're a boat owner or a uh, professional that's maybe just starting out or a professional that's been doing it for years like me, you can still use these and they come in handy. Your biggest thing you're gonna use them for, like we've already said, is gonna be waxing, sanding, and then polishing in those hard to reach places where you just wanna use one hand or you don't wanna have all the extra weight of the heavy polisher. So. Guys, I'm gonna keep the video short and simple and sweet. Like I said, I'm just on my lunch break and I thought it would be super cool to make a video of the brand new MaxShine M8S V2. Let you guys know my opinion if you were maybe wondering, do I get it, do I not? If you own the Griot's Garage G9, 100% switch this machine, you will 1000% thank me later. And like I said, if you own the older version, let that thing ride out till it dies and then go ahead and upgrade to the M8 SV2. And if you're looking to buy a brand new machine and you want the best DA for boat detailing, you could also do your car and stuff with this as well. If you wanna polish, sand and wax, just go ahead, do yourself a favor and get the M8 SV2. Let's go.